It is a Thursday. If you're in the North Bay, it is a wet Thursday. Jeez, what a weather system. And what an amazing line drawn between where it's raining and where it's not. You can see it here on the radar. This is a, a current radar at about 1020 in the morning. On Thursday morning, you see the heavy rain, though, those dark oranges through Santa Rosa. Santa Rosa, seven, eight inches of rain in 36 hours, even less than that. Some areas almost a foot of rain, even over that. The, amazing how well those rivers and creeks handle this much water. If this line had shifted further south into the Bay Area, we would have all sorts of issues, right? Because of the major freeway infrastructure, not rivers and streams as much as, well, you would have small creeks, but as much as just storm drain stuff. San Francisco, you get two inches of rain in San Francisco, storm drains go, especially this time of year on the first big weather event of the year. So we've got the flood watch in effect. We have winter storm warnings in effect. We have high surf advisories in effect. We got it all in effect as this system stays to the north. Now we've had scattered showers throughout the Bay Area. We're going to take a look at rain numbers. We're going to take a look at the Thanksgiving getaway, which is tomorrow. We're going to take a look at the mountains and um, just try to put this in perspective. And again, it's like a little kid with a fire hose and he is just, she, he, just pointing it at the North Bay. And everyone's, well, kind of gets tired. It, it drifts down and it, 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 it saturates San Francisco and Oakland. And, but even further south, San Jose is still dealing with minimal amounts of rainfall after 36 hours of some of the most intense rainfall that you get, you can get in the North Bay. So that is the current radar setup. Let's take a look here. We'll come in. I think I can get out of this. There we go. So here is the satellite image. And you can see I'll put a circle around pretty much where we are. And you see that frontal system coming through. And you also see a secondary wave coming through. That is for Friday. So the way this all goes down, we're looking for a bit of a break as we go through this afternoon, especially Santa Rosa South. This thing is going to lift up. You can almost see the front buckling now and pushing up. And then there's that secondary wave behind the, the, the atmospheric river, which is that big blob of moisture. That secondary short wave back there, I'll illustrate that too. That's going to come in and act more like a cold front. That's Friday. So today goes on Again, everything south of Santa Rosa is just showery, showery, kind of stormy, but not huge accumulations. North of Santa Rosa, you're still getting those pretty uh, uh, immense amounts of, of precipitation. Friday, that secondary wave pushes through. And you'll see that in the model as well. Let's take a look at some of the rainfall accumulations, which are beyond impressive. Let me see if I can move this out of here. Okay, so this is the CNFRC, uh, California River page basically these are just 24 hour numbers this isn't 36 hours this is in the last 24 hours so we're discounting some rain from prior um and you can see these areas right you see the purple that's two two 2.2 inches the last 24 hours in roner in a petaluma roner park let's look at santa rosa i think that's probably the most impressive spot over five and a half inches six and a half inches immense amounts of rain. It's fascinating to me, especially since Mount Tam, which is usually our go-to for the big rain numbers, they got rain, you know, three, four, five inches of rain. But if Santa Rosa's got a half foot of rain or more, I would expect Mount Tam to have a foot of rain. But it's been very focused. But again, the, the, the headline in this weather event has been the haves and the have-nots. Marin County, in the last 24 hours, Mill Valley's coming in at uh, five inches or so. You go south to San Francisco, and the north side of the city has three quarters of an inch. And you go just a little further south, and you've got 0.3, quarter inch. Some of the coastal hills have more, like in uh, the San Mateo County coastline up by Crystal Springs. But then, then you get further south, and the disparities multiply. As you look at San Jose, which is barely showing anything, you can see 0.02 in Hayward, and you work your way north, and bam. And we did a cool thing yesterday, put uh, Mark Tamayo in a, in a car and sent him north from Oakland, which was getting no rain, into the heart of this event, which was getting a lot of rain. And he, uh, it was interesting. It's just visually, you know, it's like, wow. So visually, here is how Ocean Beach looks. It's victory at sea. We have had horrible ocean circumstances the last, when I say horrible, we've had bad things happening. A lot out in Bodega Bay on that north coast. 
Uh, it's not, you, you don't see a lot of ships out right now. And these are, you know, commercial guys aren't out. This is, this is a waste of time and very dangerous. Ocean Beach is big. It's, it's solid eight to 10. Some of the, the faces are bigger. When you see it breaking way out, that's breaking on the outer bars. So that wave you're looking at way out there, quarter mile out, is not as small as it looks. It's big, big, big. A lot of water moving. Big tides still. King tides were last week, but king tides, there's a residual. There's still a lot of water moving back and forth. So that's Ocean Beach, uh, high surf advisory, you know, super gale force winds. South winds hate, uh, or Santa Cruz surfing hates south winds, and that's what happens. The south wind gets inside the cove. This is steamer lane. You can see the, the pelicans, looks like pelicans in this picture, getting all fired up. I'm guessing, I, I'm not guessing, I'm pretty sure the anchovies are still pushing through there pretty significantly. And then we've got the cameras, which I, I love these. This is up on uh, Castle Peak. And, and it's interesting, like, okay, well, Santa Rosa's got a half foot of rain. Where's all the snow? Well, the snow levels have been, as we talked about, have been relatively high. Once the snow levels drop, which is going to be this afternoon and tonight and Saturday morning, the snow is going to explode. They're going to get a foot to maybe two feet of snow overnight Friday into Saturday is what I would think. It's a winter storm warning up there with, uh, let's see what if we can dig up here. This is a Caltrans site. We'll go up to Soda Springs, see what we got a picture here. Um, doing this on the fly, so that's not happening. Let's see. Okay, thanks for putting up with this. I don't know if I can get it. There we go. Okay, that's, ooh, that's, uh, looks like we're in Truckee and we can see Truckee's got, right? So Truckee's pretty high up. You see a little bit of a snow flurry or sleet falling, but um, overall, it's pretty dry. So Caltrans fire, are, if you're going to the mountains, if you are if you are heading up there for the holiday week, which I guess a lot of folks are tomorrow, tomorrow's a bad, bad, bad travel day to the mountains. I would go, I would go tonight, I would go now, or I would go tonight. I would certainly not go, or early tomorrow morning, but I would not go tomorrow afternoon at all. <clears throat> It'd be just in evening. Okay, so here is the atmospheric river, this area in blue. And this is the model. This is GFS. I use the GFS. There's a lot of different models. Some are some have uh, go out further. GFS does, and it's also got kind of a good size grid, which isn't great, but it also is easy to look at, right? So you can go, oh, there's that dark blue representing the heavy moisture, the atmospheric river, and you see it throughout the day today, staying north, and then it buckles. See, it buckles and starts to lift out, and when that happens, we talked about this yesterday with that zonal flow, the it starts to translate through. It kicks, it tilts, right? So let's go back. So here's the atmospheric river and it starts to buckle right there. See it go north? And that's the jet stream kind of buckling, right? And, 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 and pushing the cooler air in now and strong dynamics. This is gonna be a deal where everybody gets rain. Santa Rosa is gonna get a bunch, not Santa Rosa, San Jose is gonna get a bunch of rain from this as that translates through. Okay. And you see it kind of misses the mountains, but there'll be, there'll be plenty of moisture up there. But the actual atmosphere of river heads further to the south. So that's the, the moisture plume. This is the kind of forecast radar, if you will. Same thing, you'll see it lift up right here, and then you'll see it kick through right here. And it translates through pretty quick. And it translates through to the point that Saturday looks like not a bad day. Sunday doesn't look too bad either. There might be a few scattered sprinkles. Let's see what else we got. Oh, and then this is the forecast for the next 24 hours. Now, there's been more rain than this, but this is the forecast from right now, essentially now, through the next 24 hours. And you can see really, you know, San Jose may get a quarter inch, half inch, or inch of rain. And you see Santa Rosa's still got an inch or a couple inches left to go, but it's not eight inches, right? So this thing overall, I wouldn't say winding down, but winding down in terms of in the intensity. The intensity of this system is, is, is kind of waning. I think the, the big hit was last night, yesterday afternoon, and now we're starting to see some dynamics where this will translate through as a more rapidly moving system on Friday. So it's gonna rain. You, you, it's gonna rain pretty much on and off all night in Santa Rosa. But on and off, not this nonstop deluge. And then everybody south, you're going to get what you're getting right now, which are a few scattered showers, heavy at times. Five-day forecast, when I throw that up, we look at the 
a lot going on this weekend. You got the getaways, and then you got the big game, which is I, you know, I did go to Cal, so it's the least I can do. I have a big game story too, but uh, well, I'll tell it after after the forecast here. But um, the the five day shows Saturday, pretty good day, not bad. I mean, there I, I would I would maybe take an umbrella, but I think all four quarters. I know I'm going out on a limb here, but I think all four quarters on Saturday look pretty good. My big game story. It's interesting. You know the play? I guess it's the play. Yeah, they call it the play, right? Or is that the Niner catch? Uh, yeah, either way. I think it's the play. It's, yeah. Okay, you know where that, you know in the, where the kicker gets the ball and the trombone guy gets knocked over? That was the big game. And I was there at the big game. Uh, and it was, a, I can't remember what time it was played, but I know I had to go to work. And they were losing. And I'm like, okay, I'm out of here. I'm driving down College Avenue, trying to get to work at Charlie Brown's where I waited tables. And good night, too. It was a Saturday night, so it's good money. Good tips. I had window section overlooking the Golden Gate Bridge. It was awesome. Great money at Charlie Brown's. We'll talk about that. Sort of but I'm driving down, right? And I'm thinking, okay, that's that's it. Stanford wins, whatever, you know? And I'm like, I hear, I can hear the stadium rumbling and as I'm driving off to work. It's sort of ironic, isn't it? <laughs> I know. Sat through three quarters and then three and a half quarters. Okay, so there's the five-day forecast. You have a great day. Um, I probably, if something goes down, I'll talk to you tomorrow. If not, I probably won't talk to you again until Sunday. Have a great day. Appreciate all the help on this, this site. Appreciate all the comments too. Any criticisms you have, be, be as kind as you can, but um, I love hearing what you need and what you don't need. Okay, take care.